On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me McCafe breakfast blend. <laughs> okay, I'm fixing to make peanut butter buckeyes and peanut butter balls. There's my little shortening, powdered sugar, peanut butter, vanilla flavoring. Um, this is not quite 12 ounces, so I'm going to make up the rest with peanut butter chips and butter. And it calls for salt, but this is salted butter, so I'm not going to put any salt in it. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, I try to, I try to have some extra light so you can kind of see what I'm doing better today than yesterday. Okay, let's start with the peanut butter ball part. <laughs> let's uh, get the peanut butter in here. Two cups. I think it says. Yeah, two cuts. Well, I'm not going to mess up a measuring cup with peanut butter. <laughs> so we're just going to see if we can't get two cups out of here. 16 ounces. All right. We're going to just wing it, okay, with two cups of peanut butter. That's probably one. Stay out of beer bowl. <laughs> All right, that's probably one. Eight ounces. Eight ounces is a cup, right? There's 16 ounces in this in this jar. 16.3. I'll just say the three ounces is what's stuck to the sides. Okay, <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> All right, four tablespoons of butter. I already got it cut out right here. It's already room temperature. Okay, let me put this over here. All right. Um... A half a teaspoon of vanilla. Get my half teaspoon over here. All right. That's a quarter. That's a half. Just pour it in there. All right, put this in the sink. Okay, move this out of the way. We'll move this peanut butter out of the way. All right. Now, let me change uh, utensils here. Get this peanut butter over here. All right. All right. All right. I need a whisk. So let me get one out. Okay, let me rinse it off. All right, now, this goes with the morsels. Powdered sugar time. Two cups of powdered sugar. Two cups of powdered sugar. All right. Let's get our measuring thing here. Let me measure this. They cute. <laughs> Let's get the cup one off. Let's rinse it off for a little bit. Rinse it off. I don't know if it's gotten dusty in there or not. Let's try it good. All right, two cups. So let's dig down here and get two cups out. Level it off, I guess. One. And now I'm probably in the way. <laughs> I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. That was good. Two cups. Okay. All right. We'll make a, a lot of rackets. Let me put this over here. Out of the way. Watch me and I'll. Okay, like I said yesterday, I sure do need some music, but we'll, we'll deal with it, won't we? <laughs> All right, let's mix this up. This ain't going to be easy to do either, so you're just going to have to be patient with it, like you do everything else when you're making stuff. I have to just get it out of the forks and keep on going. This might not be the right thing to mix this up with, but it does cut into it, so we'll see. We'll see how far we can get with this. 
Whoops. God. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what is that? Ooh. All right. Let's take it easy here. Get too big of a hurry. Haste makes waste, right? <laughs> Haste makes waste. So let's just get this out of here. And I think I'm going to go to a different... A different... Uh, Stir. <laughs> this is not getting it. <laughs> Hold on. I I ain't playing now. <laughs> this is a job for a, a hand mixer, and I had forgot because I hadn't. I don't even think I made these last year. I might have. I can't remember. You know how difficult it was to mix the stuff up. But I tell you what, it smells so good. It, oh my goodness gracious, it smells good. You know, peanut butter is just... I feel sorry for people that are allergic to peanuts. I just do. Okay, let's go a little faster so we can get it all combined and stuff good. Get it all broke down. So we can we start uh, getting it into a little mound and uh, start to rolling it into balls. But, you know, there's other forms of peanut butter out there. There's not, you know, they got uh, almond butter. I guess you could use that with, in here. That would probably be delicious. But, you know, I love peanut butter. I love it. My mama loved it, too. I think I'm slinging it everywhere. <laughs> All right, that's probably good enough. We're going to stop right here. Let me set this right here. Now, get your hands into it. You gotta kind of uh, mound it into, you know, mound it into a ball. And it'll go. And what you gotta start doing is rolling it into balls. Hold on. Let me clean this mess up. Hold on just a minute. All right. I just, when I'm working and I've got a mess around me, I can't, I can't think of nothing but the mess. I know, I'm weird. Weird like that, but... <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, this looks good. And your warm hand will help it, um, you know, melt and get softer. It kind of looked a little, you know, grainy and stuff right at first, but you keep doing this right here with your warm hand and you'll get it perfect. Okay? Kind of like messing with dough. <laughs> I've got a big old dough ball. All right, some people at this point right here will put it in the refrigerator. Roll it all around and get all this up. But I don't. I go ahead and roll my balls, and then I put my balls in the refrigerator, okay? So um, let me uh, cut this off for a minute, and um, after we uh, get these rolled and put in the refrigerator, we'll melt our chocolate, okay? See, look here. It's beautiful. See, it's going to roll good. Just roll it around like that. See? Okay, now let me uh, cut this off. And get my pan ready over here and everything where it's supposed to be. Hold on. All right. I'm going to roll out a few of these. And I just washed my hands with hot soapy water, dried them with paper towels, okay? So I'm going to roll out a few of these. Don't make them very big because, again, they're super duper sweet. And, you know, just, just be patient. <laughs> because if you don't, if you get impatient, they're going to start getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as you go down the road. <laughs> Trust me, I know. So just make them about... No, about like that. Just one, you know, nice little bite. Um, might be about the size of a large marble. Maybe not quite that big. But yeah, and just uh, try to make them pretty and round. Uh, keep rolling them till you get them kind of round. You know, they're not going to be perfectly round, but they'll be they'll be good enough. <laughs> All right. I was going to tell you about the post office yesterday. Um. Um. The postman was out there. Remember I told you I ran out there and, and uh, ran out there to get him. He had two boxes. One was something that I ordered from QVC, some makeup. And another one was the a doll I had ordered for one of my nieces for Christmas. A little Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse doll. So I thought, well, where's my baby alive? Okay. Because that's the one I was waiting on for my granddaughter. So, I thought, well, okay. 
It was supposed to be here Wednesday, Tuesday. And I, and I understand the weather's bad and all that stuff, right? So I called Amazon just, you know, just to check. I was super duper nice. I wasn't upset or anything. It's raining like crazy, and I hope, sure do hope it gets rid of some of this snow. But anyway, um, I called Amazon. The guy was real nice. And I had tried to call the post office, but you can't get through to the post office. They just will not answer the phone. They just will not. Okay. So, um, I called Amazon. He said, well, let me call the carrier. I thought, well, you're not going to get through because I just tried for, almost, I tried for about an hour and 40 minutes of the night. You know, I was just, I had my phone on. Wouldn't really, I wouldn't really wait and I just, you know, I was doing other things while the, while I was on hold. But I just left it on there just to see how long it was, an hour and 40 minutes. So, excuse me. Um, um, can you see what I'm doing? My bowl's over here. <laughs> see, I'm picking at it from way over here. I guess you can see a little bit of it. But anyway, um, if I can slide it over a little bit more maybe. Um, so, the guy from Amazon called the post office. It went two minutes he was back with the guy from the post office on the phone. I thought to myself, now how did you do that? <laughs> but the guy at the post office promised me yesterday. He said, ma'am, he said, it's out for delivery. It will be delivered this afternoon. I said, well, the postman just left. And I said, he told me it was only going to be packages today, no mail. He said, well, we have uh, two carriers. One brings packages and one brings mail, and yours is on the mail truck. I said, Okay. Mail never came. The mailman never came to deliver mail, the paper mail, any any other mail. No other mailman came yesterday. So this morning about nine o'clock, here come a here come a USPS minivan. Pulled in the driveway, put two packages on my porch. One was my baby alive, one was something my husband had ordered. And I thought, okay. Huh. I thought that was kind of weird. You know, I, I don't know, I just thought it was weird. But I don't know if I'll get any paper mail today or, not, today or not, but the road out there looks pretty good. I mean, it's a slushy. And the other day when the guy came, he left paper mail. He had chains on his tires, chains on the back of his tires, you know. Um, if it was a little bit closer to Christmas, I would probably be a little bit more upset. <laughs> but, you know, since I've got time still, um, it didn't bother me as much. But... I know last year I had ordered a shirt um, for someone, and it didn't come. So I didn't have that personal Christmas present. And the same stuff happened last year. It was weather, weather-related. The stuff was put off so bad. And we had a snowstorm last year the same day as we had one this year. Exact same day. I thought that was kind of crazy. Now, see my little balls here? Let me show you. And I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm going to finish them up so you won't be so bored. But that's about how big I got them, okay? You know, and just take you take your patience and take your time with them, and um, you know, you'll be done in just a minute. So let me cut these off. I'll finish them up so you won't have to be bored with me, and um, we'll start melting our chocolate. All right, hold on. All right, I got finished. I had to get another tray for these little extra ones, but here they are. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and let them get cold, okay? I gotta eat me a sandwich because I got the tr I got the trembles. <laughs> so um, there they are, and um, I'm gonna let these cool while I eat me a sandwich. I um, fixed me some chicken quesadillas last night, and I had a piece of chicken left over, so I made me some more chicken salad. <laughs> so I'm having another chicken salad sandwich. I sure am, with some lettuce on it. Okay, they're pretty. They turned out real good. And um, when I get back, we'll melt the chocolate and we'll start dipping. Okay, I see in just a little bit. Okay. I melted my chocolate in the microwave for 30 seconds, same as the other. Three 30 second increments with an extra 15. Now I gotta get two tablespoons of this in here. I think it's two tablespoons. Let's see. No, teaspoons. Ooh, I'm glad I looked. <laughs> That'd be really messed up. Right, there's one. This makes this is supposed to make it shine, I think. I think that's why they want you to put it in there. All right, so let's get this out of the way. My uh, peanut butter balls are still in the refrigerator, so just hang on a minute. I just want to show you the chocolate first. I'm, whoops, I am so sorry. Oh, my God, I knocked you off the thing. I may have to put it back in the microwave for just a few minutes to get this, uh, to get 
get this uh, shortening broke down. But it's still, you know, the bowl's still warm, so. Yeah, hold on. Let me put it back in there for just, just I don't know, 10 or 15 more seconds. Hold on. All right. That was an extra 14 seconds. <laughs> stir, stir, stir. So one thing about this kind of stuff, it's thicker than the other. It's thicker than the other morsels. Um, I'm going to do this with a toothpick. You can do it. So, I don't keep knocking it. Uh, some people do it with a um, fork. But I'm just going to do a toothpick. Whoops. I kind of had to be. I use your spoon to knock off the excess a little bit. Kind of help you. Um, see? That's a book I, I don't know how to make the hole go away, but we're going to leave it. <laughs> Do a, let's do a whole one. Kind of take your spoon. A little spoon to help you kind of get the rest of the stuff off. The extra. Yeah, this is another thing you got to be patient with. Dump it on there. And with the peanut butter ball, I take the toothpick and cover the hole up. Okay, so you can't see it. Alright, so it's going to take me a while to get these done. <laughs> It's going to take me a while. So, I'll be standing here for, <laughs> ain't no telling how long. Okay. I just hope I have enough chocolate. You know, and you may have to go back to the microwave too and do another 15 seconds after you get going for a while. You know, but it, it just takes time. It takes time. You have to be, you know, don't just slap it on there any old way. Make them look nice, you know. You don't want them to look like, I don't know. You don't want them to look yucky, yucky. You look nice. And I'll tell you what else you can do too. Get your paper towel. Wipe off your toothpick. Because I just missed up one of the Buckeyes. Uh, so you won't get uh, chocolate on your, on your, chocolate on your uh on the top part like this one did whoops <laughs> anyway let me finish them and i know you don't want to stand here and watch me right i know you don't so let me wash my fingers because i just licked my fingers again so let me get them done and i'll come back and um well hold on a minute Let me let me try something right quick. We'll try every which way, okay? To see if, see if it helps us in any way. Let's get a teaspoon, a little skinny teaspoon, you know, the long handle teaspoon. Drop it in there. Let's see if we let's see if we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Okay? You never know. Try to pull it up. So you'll have a pretty, uh, pretty side. Well, you know what? Maybe if you pulled it up the spoon handle. Well, still you got chocolate on there. Dump it. Try to keep the chocolate on the spoon, I guess. The best way you can. Um, let me go back to the toothpick. Let me get another one. Try to right there. Let me go back to the toothpick. We're going to try every which way we... <laughs> any which way but loose is what we're going to do. I did get me a sandwich and I feel better now. I was shaking. <laughs> I had the shakes. But now I'm better. Just had a low blood sugar or something. <laughs> My age, you could feel any way. <laughs> any crazy way. <laughs> you just have these crazy feelings. You just have to fight them. I'm telling you. You do. You just have to fight it. <laughs> I mean, you just, uh, whew, sometimes it's rough. 
But, you know, gotta make the best of it. Gotta make them make a peanut butter ball out of this one. Yeah, you gotta make, you just gotta make the best of it. When you start feeling them crazy, crazy feelings coming on. <laughs> just don't let it get you. Just keep going. Don't let it get you down. <laughs> don't let it scare you neither, cause it ain't nothing to be scared of. <laughs> cause you can surely enough, uh, get scared to death, especially with the heart palpitations and all that stuff. <laughs> You know, you feel like, God, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> but you're not. You're not. You're not having a heart attack. Okay. Anyway. This is pretty chocolate. I think it come out really good, actually. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the milk chocolate, like I said. You know, stir it a little bit as you go along. Um, let's see. Let's do that I like the Buckeye look the best, I think. I think they look nicer than the peanut butter ball. I think that's what I'm going to do with the rest of them, make Buckeyes. I like the hole in the top, too. I think that's cool looking. You know what? Hey, wait a minute. What about a sprinky dinky? Let's see. Can you see what I'm doing? Let me see. Let me see. Let's see if I can what about a sprinky dinky. I don't want them to dry right quick. Because I'd have to, I'd have to go along with this. Um, come on, I have to go along. Let's see what a sprinkly dinky look like. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, let's sprinkly dinky do too. I'm not gonna sprinkly dink them all because my husband don't like his stuff. <laughs> he don't like this sprinkly stuff. He just likes his plain. But, oh, that looks pretty. Let me show you. See? Makes them look right cute. I kind of like that hole in the middle. I think it looks neato. Huh. Oh, well. You know, you fix them the way you want them. Yeah, you just fix them the way you want them. That's all you gotta do. Let's see what's on this side. It's a snowflake. Hey, how about this? How about a snowflake on top of the hole? Oh! <gasps> Uh oh. Now, ain't that cute? Yeah. Who's gonna stand here and do this all day? <laughs> Not me. But I'm gonna do some of them. Oh, you guys see these up close. Hold on. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> ain't this cute as a button? Oh, this is too cute. Hey, what about one on the um, peanut butter ball, too? Just right on top. Yeah. All right. Whoops. Oops. Messed that one up. I'll have to eat that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you tell me that ain't cute. Look. Now that is freaking darling. And you can't say it ain't. <laughs> These are going to be so pretty when I get them done. And get them put in the, um, the, uh, containers. Look at that. Can you see the light on them? Wowee. Shoot you, man. <laughs> All right. Let me turn the tree around. Do the other side. All right. Let me get them done. Um, see, there's all kinds of things you do. I got these blue ones. Look at here. Blue, blue um, snowflakes. Hey, hold on. I'll let you still watch me do a few more. You know what? Let me get them dipped, and then we'll decorate them. Let me come, I'll come right back. I won't make you uh, stay on here and watch me do this. Hold on. Okay, I got the other half of this little sheet pan done. We're going to do blue this time. Put some blue ones on here. I'm going to put some blue sprinkles, blue and white, blue and silver sprinkles on top. Blue and silver. Like that. Let's put a bunch of them on here. Don't matter if you waste some. Grocery store's got plenty of them. <laughs> Walmart's got plenty of them, too. All right. Now, let's turn this over and pop up the other side and get us out some of these little stars. Let's see. I like the light blue ones. Let's put the light blue one on there. Oh, that's so cute. Light blue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 
after I get this pile, this little side done, I'll um, hang up and um, put that on that one. I'll um, won't come back until I have them finished, and that way you won't have to, you know, sit and watch me. Unless you like this kind of stuff, I don't know. <laughs> Might help you relax. I hope it does. People need to relax. <laughs> Trust me, they do. They, people need to relax. People are crazy in this new world these days. I mean, everything's offending them, and it's like, can't even freaking watch Charlie Brown no more. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I mean, really. Look. See? Ain't that cute? Yeah, those are really, really super duper cute. Okay, the, uh, the next tray I'm going to do, the whole other tray, I'm just going to do with chocolates. Whoops. With just chocolate. Uh, I'm going to make Buckeyes though because well, it depends on how I feel as I'm going along. <laughs> but I do like the look of the Buckeye. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to set these back in the refrigerator. Okay. Cute, cute. I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright, let me cut this off and I'll see you in just a minute with the other tray finished. Alright. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> so I, I decided to do something different. <clears throat> I got me a cup and put the chocolate in it. This is one of my um, hot chocolate cups from McDonald's. <laughs> so it's a whole lot easier to just dip it right down in there. Okay, wipe off the little excess right here on the side. And boom. The, the last five I've done this way look 10 times better than the other ones I did. Okay. So this is an idea that you can do. Get you something that's deep like a, a cup. Okay. It does a lot better. Look here. It's perfect. And I'll be through these in just a, just a breeze. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, one more issue you're going to run into. Excuse me, i got to lick my fingers. <laughs> is they're getting soft from being in the fridge. And they're wanting to fall apart a little bit. The holes are wallering out, you know. <laughs> so, um, just keep going. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to put this back in the refrigerator. I'm just going to keep on going and do the best I can. But I thought I'd let you know that once they start getting warm again, they start getting mushy. And um, they start giving you a problem, so beware. All right, I'm done. I got these. You know, did these first. These have been in the refrigerator. And these are the other ones. And my chocolate started kind of uh, getting uh, a little stiff on me right here at the end. But my husband loves a lot of chocolate on them. So I put extra chocolate on these these right here. <laughs> but there's the rest of my Buckeyes. I got one, two, three solid ones here. And the rest of them are like the Buckeye. Okay. So anyway, I'm not going to put any candies on these because, uh, you know, some people don't like that candy stuff. My husband don't. He don't like it. He won't eat these. But I sure will. <laughs> okay. Let me get them boxed up. Let me get them back in the fridge. Get them cooled. And um, I'll box them up and I'll show you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'm getting ready to store these away in the refrigerator. Um, in these two containers here. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to start with these first ones I made with the little pretty little stuff on them. I'm just gonna set them in here. You don't have to set them too close together, you know. Um, give them room, so <laughs> you know you can do whatever. What I'm gonna do with this one is this is just gonna be the one for. Minute, this is just gonna be the one, the container for the uh, ones that's got candies on them. Okay. Stand up in there or not? Let's see. Anyway, just pack them away like this. So I'll know that these are mine and Arlene's. <laughs> I'll give her a couple of these, but she ain't never had them with the candies and stuff on them. Just put all this thing with candies on there. They ain't gonna stick, but that's okay. And this is gonna go. Um, this is gonna go in the fridge. So let me get out the other. You see it? This is going to go by themselves, the ones with the candy, the candies on them. I'm going to put them in this lock, tight container and put them in the refrigerator. And next week when I get ready to package them up, I'll show you how I do that. Because I got those Christmas bags with Santa Claus and stuff on them. These will be perfect then. And also I got to make some potato chips. I got to dip some potato chips and um, some elephant ears, chips. And I may do some um, pretzel rods. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to do them next week, probably Monday. Monday. Monday or Tuesday, and get all that stuff ready, and get it done, and get it packaged up, and get it ready to go, because, you know, next week is, uh, 
Next week's the last week before Christmas. You know, Monday is going to be the 17th. 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. Eight more days. <laughs> so, anyway, let me put these away. Get the other tray out, okay? Hold on. Okay. I'm going to start putting these in here. See how pretty and firm they come up? Look, at the bottom. Can you see it? It's flat on the bottom. Kind of looks like a chocolate covered cherry in a way if you don't turn it over. <laughs> All right, just start packing them in here. Kind of, I'm going to say don't be, you know, too big of a hurry, but try to get them in here as fast as you can because you got you need to get them back in the refrigerator. I'm going to put all the Buckeyes on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to leave these uh, solid ones on top because those are the ones my husband will probably want because he likes a lot of chocolate on his. And I'm going to just leave them on top because I know he's going to probably want a couple of them tonight. He can just open this up and reach in here and get him a couple. Okay. Yeah, you can. All right. But anyway, I sure did enjoy this today. It's relaxing. I just missed my music. I just wish I could have some music on. Actually, I did play music in between um, in between uh, videos. <laughs> so, wait a minute, that's the right one, is it? That's this one. Yeah, I did. I sure did play me some music. I put these solid ones on top, so if he can reach in here and get him one after a while, okay? All right. Well, next week we're gonna do some potato chips and some pretzel rods, probably. And I gotta make a pe peanut butter pie. We'll do that next week too. Or you know what? I might do that this weekend. Film that. I might do my peanut butter pie tomorrow night or Sunday because it's supposed to rain. And um, you know, we'll uh, we'll be in. We'll be inside, and we'll be. I'll do that. I have some video for you this weekend. <laughs> We'll go from there, okay? So I'm gonna put the top on this, and uh, whoops, that's a big one right there. He'll probably grab that one first. <laughs> but I'll put the top on these, put these in the refrigerator, and next week, like I said, we'll bag them up after I get my chips and my pretzel rods done. And um, you know, I got my haystacks and my turtles, so that'll be a nice little wrap up to give somebody. So let me put these away, and um. Thank you for joining me. And it's always seems so sad when I go stop my video. I don't want to stop. <laughs> but it always seems so sad after I get done doing my video and have to say goodnight and goodbye until tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, because I really do enjoy it. Really do enjoy doing them for you. Them for me. <laughs> All right. Um, put pieces on top. Put both pieces. So take care and have a good night. And I'll see you. Tomorrow or Sunday with a peanut butter pie, I promise.